Hello and welcome to the Royal Society in London. You're joining us here at the L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Awards 2016. We're going to be interviewing today's eight shortlisted candidates. Come on in. Hello, my name is Louisa Messenger. I'm Sophie Acton. I'm Sam Giles. My name is Maria. Um, my name is Tanya Hatter. My name is Tatiana Habrusivan. My name is Natalie Vriend. My name is Tani Kokolova Weldon. So as a kid, I was always fascinated by the natural world, so I was automatically drawn to biology. I've always liked problem solving, but also uh, enjoyed maths in schools. I always liked science when I, was, when I was younger, I liked reading and finding out about new things. I've always been very, very motivated by my love for discovery. I think it's, it's a great career for women, it's really challenging, it's stimulating. Join in, um, we need you. I would say don't let anyone tell you that you're not able to do science, you, you can and you just have to, you might have to try a bit harder than someone else but you're perfectly capable of doing it. But it's not this stereotype that you have in your head that comes in a comic strip because it's nothing like that. Go for it, it's fun, it's interesting, it's absolutely fantastic, you will have a remarkable career. I think it's important that you believe in yourself. It gives me an outlet to actually be really creative. To be in science is to do whatever you want. My research is so important to me because it is my thing. Everybody has a thing and that is my thing. It's the thing which gets me up in the morning, put a smile on my face, makes me angry. It's part of my life. Uh, one of the kind of major challenges is that I have a young daughter and it's often quite difficult to balance, you know, childcare and family life with the demands of research. Um, what keeps me motivated is just chatting to other scientists and finding out that they have to do it too and it's not an impossible task. A normal working day starts at 6 when my kids wake up. But I'm a scientist that's based actively in the field, so on a normal working day um, I get up very early in the morning, I drive along a dirt road, um, usually in a terrible car, um, and I work at, with the local community um, in the healthcare facilities. to expand the study that I currently have running in Bolivia to be able to include children. Um, this award will help me kickstart my career again after maternity break. I'll use the award to travel to see collaborators and also organize a, a meeting in Oxford. A lot of it for traveling to conferences and really getting involved in the community as much as I can as a new researcher. There is nothing to lose really, so I would just say like try it and uh, if you have an idea um, just don't be scared of like just putting it down on paper. If you have barriers to your work, so childcare or caring responsibilities or anything like that, then definitely apply because as the money is so flexible, it really gives you uh, a way of spending it and a way of supporting yourself. <laughs> 